Hello and welcome to our live stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. For October 21st, I can't believe the month is we're heading for the final Halloween wrap up. My name is Doug Thrift. I'm a physical therapist and senior fitness coach, and I help seniors become strong and stable even if they've never exercised before. Welcome to our live stream today. And our live stream today is brought to you by Elder Gym Academy, and that is my little uh, online senior fitness school. And we do a lot of great stuff there. We have lots of great guests. Uh, there's Dr. Lisa, and there's my wife, Audrey. She teaches yoga. And we do videos, fitness videos. We have e uh, easy videos. We have harder videos. And we have over, I think, over 600 videos right now uh, in the academy. So we are building up quite a repertoire of videos in the academy. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we're going to do a 30-minute total body workout. And that will be fun. Uh, let me check our peanut gallery here. Uh, oh, we have Sandra. Sandra, good morning from Toronto. Oh, boy. And Lynn, good morning from Vancouver. Boy, a lot of Canadians. It must be, it must be uh, morning up there in Canada, I guess. Oh, boy. And Storm, good morning, Storm. And good morning, Pat. Good morning, all of you guys. And again, this will be recorded, so you'll be able to watch it uh, afterwards. Well, let's get started with our 30-minute. Now, what you'll need are uh, some weights, probably a heavier weight and two lighter weights for our total body workout and a chair, and that's pretty much it. If you don't have any weights, you can use just the weight of your arms, or if you have some water bottles, they work really good too. Uh, for that. So I do everything around here. I do the sound, I do the lights, and I do the exercising. I'm like a one-man studio here. So what I have to do is turn my uh, camera around, and hopefully everybody can hear me. Certainly if you can hear me, uh, let me know. There's my little studio, Elder Gym Studio there. A little tighter shot because I'm using my video, my uh, webcam over here. So let's see if we can start our 30 minute class. I'm gonna turn on the timer and we're gonna get started this morning. Welcome everybody from around the world. Let's turn on our yeah, again, you'll just need a chair and you'll need some weights. I have a heavier weight here and two lighter weights to use. But before we do that, we have to warm up a little bit. So let's start marching and getting our posture, getting into the exercise mindset here. Here we go. Breathe. Let's get some oxygen in those lungs. Marching and breathing. Let's get the arms moving. Just like that, good, breathe, breathe. All right, now what we're gonna do is do a little bit of raising the arms and having our heels come back and kick our bottom. We're just loosening up. And the idea of a warm up is to warm up. We wanna warm up those muscles, we wanna loosen up the joints, get the blood flowing make things a little bit easier and just kind of simulate a lot of the exercises we're going to be doing. All right, and relax. Let's do a little torso rolling. So we're just going to rotate around just like that, the hula, around and around. Loosen up your hips. So glad you guys are here joining us for our 30-minute total body workout. We're going to try to work our arms a little bit and our legs and a little core also. And we won't be getting down onto the floor because a lot of seniors do not like to get on the floor. So we're going to use our chair. And that is as low as we'll get. 
Let's see if we can pull that rope in. So grab that giant Navy rope, pulling it in a ship or something like that. I feel like I'm doing, let's pull it in, loosening up and breathe. You guys are doing good. Breathe, breathe, pull it in. There we go. All right, now interlace your fingers together just like that and just flip your arms up in the air. Stretch it out. Knees are soft, nice straight back. Breathe. Just lift those arms up. Breathe. We're getting the oxygen in there. We're getting the blood flowing. And relax. All right, roll those shoulders around a little bit. Let's reach side to side. Reach as far as you can, side to side like that. We're going to try to get a good five minutes out of this warm up. See if I can think of a couple things to do to warm you up. Try to breathe in through your nose as often as you can. Out through your mouth. You guys are doing great. Here we go. Breathe. All right. All right. And relax. Roll those shoulders around. Let's do a little cat and camel. Hands on your knees. Arch your back if you can. Stretch it out. And then relax. And look up. Kind of the opposite direction. That's it. Roll your back up. And relax. Out the other way. One more time. Roll up. And out. All right. Now just a little bit of... A little bit of boxing shuffle here, a little bit of loosening up. Loosen up those arms. Loosen up those legs. Breathe. Breathe. Just like that. Breathe. Good. A little running. Let's bring our arms up. All right. Are you feeling it? I think you're feeling it. Getting a little bit more warmed up. Good. All right, how about a little bit of side to side motion? Just reach side to side, nice and gentle. Warm up that spine a little bit in a rotation type of fashion. Good. A couple more seconds and we are gonna get started with our program. Breathe. Breathe and relax. All right, we're going to use our, let's try to use our big weight. So if you have a, a larger weight, we're going to grab that. And I'm going to have my chair just in case I need it. We're going to start with a goblet squat. Now what you're going to do is hold on to your big weight like that. If you don't have a weight, just put your hands together just like that. I'm going to stand in front of my chair. And we're just going to do a little squatting. Now, when you do a squat, you want to bring your tailbone back and just touch that chair lightly and then stand back up. And we're bringing our tailbone back so that we keep our knees behind our toes to protect those knees. There we go. Keep that weight nice and close and breathe. Good. Let's try a couple more. So just bring your tailbone back like you're going to sit on a small apple crate, something like that way behind you. This is a wonderful exercise. If you're going to do just one exercise, this is a great one. Keep those legs strong. Let's try two more. Here's one. And two. And relax. We're going to grab our smaller weights. We've got our smaller weights and we're going to do a bicep curl like that, and we're gonna move into an overhead press. So while you're doing this, your palms are forward, and then you're gonna go right into an overhead press. So I'm gonna curl, and you'll notice that I'm bringing my palms forward as I curl overhead. And I think they call that in the business an Arnold press, named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
It just activates a few more fibers in your shoulder. Good, so keep breathing. Make sure you get full range of motion out of that bicep curl. Let's do one more, all the way up and down. And if you have shoulder problems, start with no weights and just use the weight of your arms. All right, let's go to our chair and I'm gonna hold on to my big weight. So I'm gonna show you this one sideways here. Now this one's called a chair bridge. So you're gonna hold on to your chair like that. You're gonna lift your bottom up, bring your bottom forward and then bring your hips towards the ceiling. Hold, come back and back, just like that. We're working our hamstrings, posterior change. Let's repeat that. Lift your hips up, down and back. Good job, here we go, two more. Lift your hips up, come forward, lift your hips towards the ceiling, back, back and down. Last one. Hips up, forward, lift them to the ceiling, come back, and relax. Now what you're going to do is grab your heavier weight. We're going to sit in our chair like we're going to fall asleep. Hold on to your weight right in the middle there. Lean back, and you're going to start rotating your torso like that. Try not to touch the back of your chair. This is a core exercise. Breathe and just go back and forth. We don't want any pain. We're just trying to work our core. So tighten up that core, bring your belly button to your spine, breathe back and forth, just like that. If it's too hard with the weight, then just use the weight of your hands. We have less than 10 seconds to go here. Breathe. And three, two, one, relax. Now we're going to grab both of our weights again. Same position. Hold on to both of your weights just like that. Now we're going to lean back in our chair like we're falling asleep. And we're going to do a chest press. So start with your arms right at chest level and push straight out just like that. Keep a nice tight core. You're breathing, get that oxygen into your lungs. Breathe, there we go. I'm trying to work a lot of different muscles here. Upper body, lower body, core, keep breathing. You don't have to keep up with me. Go at your own speed, because you are you. Go at your own speed. I won't be counting for you. Here we go. We're doing about 50 seconds, I would say of each exercise. Breathe. Two more. One, two, and relax. We're going to do a overhead pull over. So I want you to grab your big weight again. Hold on to it with either hand, just like that. What we're going to do is bring that weight over our head as far as you can, and then back to our belly button. And repeat. Nice tight core, breathe, and we don't want any pain. If it hurts to go all the way back, just bring it up to your head and back down, just like that. All the way over and pull. We're working our chest and working our lats with this one here. There we go, breathe. Less than 10 seconds. Let's try two more, here's one. And two. And relax. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. Now what you can do is keep holding on to that weight. We're going to stand up and stand to one side of your chair. Hold on to that weight. We're going to do a reverse lunge. So we're going to take a step back. We're going to do a level change and then alternate with the other foot. This is a reverse lunge. I'm just taking a comfortable step back and then I'm just doing a level change up and down, straight up and down, just like that. Step back, 
level change up and down. There we go. You guys got it. Now you may find that your balance is a little wobbly when you go backwards. If that's the case, don't go down as far. Let's do one more on each side or bring your feet farther apart and relax. Hold on to your heavier weight. Bring one foot forward and the weight is in your opposite hand. Stabilize yourself with your one hand on your leg and we're just going to lift our elbow to the ceiling. I'm going to show this one sideways just like that. Just lift your elbow up to the ceiling and we'll show you that side too. Give you all different sides here. It's as if there's a string tied onto your elbow, just pulling it straight up. So our core is tight. We're breathing. Stabilize yourself on your knee and go at your own speed. You don't have to keep up with me. Less than 10 seconds. And three, two, one. We're going to do the other arm in 10 minutes. You just wait. All right. I'm going to grab my lighter weights again. I'm going to bend my elbows to about 90 degrees and I'm going to lift my elbows toward the ceiling. We're doing a little side raise here. I have my elbows bent to protect my shoulder a little bit more. As we get older and we hold heavy things out from our body, away from our body, the chance of injuring your shoulder is a little higher because the heart tendons just aren't what they used to be. So just lift your elbows up, breathe. This is what it looks like sideways here. Just like that, go at your own speed. Don't bring your shoulders to your ears, just raise your elbows up. Here we go. And three, two, one. We're gonna do some kickbacks and then we're gonna start this whole thing over again. To do a kickback, knees are soft, about hip width apart. Your flex trim at the hips. Bring your arms back as far as you can. And then we're just gonna pump those arms just like that. Nice and controlled, not too fast. Pump them back and forth and get a full range of motion out of that elbow. Just bring it all the way back. Try to hold your arm backward just like that and just pump and bend those elbows. Good. It's important to have a nice tight core while you're doing this and a nice straight back and breathe. Belly button to spine. Less than 10 seconds. You guys are doing it. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Three, two, one. We're halfway there. We're going to do these 10 exercises again. So I'm going to grab my chair. I'm going to grab my heavier weight. Hold that heavy weight. Cup it right in your hands. Back up to your chair. Feet are about hip width apart. Bring your tailbone down to the chair. Lightly touch the chair. Extend back up all the way. Stand nice and tall when you get up there. And give your glutes a little squeeze at the very top. Just like that. Good. Try to bring that tailbone back as far as you can, like you're sitting on a little apple crate. And up, good. 10 seconds, let's do two more. There's one, all the way up, and two, all the way up, and relax. Grab our lighter weights. We're gonna do our bicep curl and our overhead press. Palms forward. Curl up and then lift those arms overhead, bringing your palms forward and return to the start position. Core is tight, you're breathing. This is what it looks like from the side, all the way up and down. Nice full range of motion with your elbows. You guys are doing it. This is gonna strengthen your whole body. You're gonna feel fantastic. You're going to say, oh my goodness, 
I am a new person. There we go. Nice full range of motion. Nice and controlled. Flip your palms backward to forward, just like that. Let's do one more. Here we go. All the way up. Overhead press. Down. Relax. Breathe. Let's get to our chair and try our bridge again. Hold on to your chair, just like that. Lift your bottom up. Bring your bottom forward. And then bring your hips toward the ceiling. Down and back. Good. Let's try it again. Lift your bottom up. Bring it forward. Lift your hips to the ceiling. Back and back. Now, some of us have hips that are a little big. And it's a little hard to do this. So if you have a chair with armrests in your living room, that would be a little bit easier for you to lift your bottom up and do this exercise. So if it's too hard to get your bottom up, use a chair with armrests. One more. Here we go. Forward, lift it up, back, back, and down. Grab your heavy weight. We're going to do our Russian twist in the chair. Sit on the very edge of the chair. Lean back like you're falling asleep. Hold on to that weight and start rotating your torso with a tight core, belly button to spine. Breathe. And do not touch the back of that chair. You should feel your shirt lightly <laughs> rolling on the back of that chair. I feel my shirt right on the back. That's as close as you want to come to the back. We're trying to use our tummy muscles. And a folding chair, they're great for exercising in. And that's what I use here. Breathe. Breathe. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. You got it. We're on the downward part. And three, two, one, and relax. We're going to grab our lighter weights again in two hands. Now we can rest on the back of that chair like we're falling asleep. Weights up to your chest high and push straight out just like that. There we go. We're heading down to the final minutes. Here we go. Push and push straight ahead. Go at your own speed. Nice tight core. Breathing in. Get some oxygen in your body. You guys are doing good. You're going to love how you feel after this. You'll be nice and tired, ready for a nap. Here we go. Try this exercise, a uh, little video three times a week, and you're just going to be doing great. Less than 10 seconds, your own speed, and three, two, one, and relax. Roll those shoulders around. All right, now we're going to grab our heavy weight again. Hold on to that heavy weight on either side. Lean back on your chair like you're falling asleep. Bring the weight overhead as far as you can, and then back to your belly button. This is a pullover. Working our shoulders, our lats, chest. Great exercise. Breathe. This one might be harder depending on the back of your chair. If you have a high back chair, this might be a little bit difficult. Breathe. Tight core. There we go. You guys got it. And you might hear some shoulder noise. I have lots of shoulder noise. Here we go. One more. And relax. Roll the shoulders around a little bit. Now keep holding on to that weight. Stand next to your chair. And we're going to do our reverse lunge with a weight. Hold on to that weight about chest high. Take a step back. We're going to do a level change and return to start. Alternate feet. Breathe. Tight core. You guys got it. Hang in there. Heading down to the wire. We're working our legs, our arms, and our core. There we go. Breathe. If you're a little wobbly doing this, 
bring your legs a little farther apart. That'll give you a little bit more stability, a little larger base of support. Good. And don't go down as far if it bothers your knee. Take a small little step. One more on each side. All right. Hold that weight in your other hand this time. I'll show you what that looks like from the side. Step one foot out. And we're just going to bring our elbow to the ceiling for our single arm row, just like that. There we go. Go at your own speed. You don't have to keep up with me. Breathe. Hang in there, guys. We are almost done. Breathe. Tight core while you're doing this. We're not counting. We're just doing about 50 seconds. Here we go. You guys got it. Pull up. Pull up. Push through. 10 seconds. You're going to make it. Keep going. And three, two, one. Oh boy. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. All right. Now grab your lighter weights. Hold on to those light weights. Bend your elbows 90 degrees. Ribs are lifted. And just bring your elbows right to the ceiling. Just like that. A little side raise. If you're doing it from the side, my knees are soft. A slight flex in my hips, keeping your back nice and straight. Breathe, tight core, belly button to spine. Nice and controlled motion. You don't have to go as fast as I am. Go at your own speed, because you are you. Nice and controlled. Good. Almost done. One exercise after this, guys, and we will cool down. Here we go. Great way to start your day. And three, two, one. Let's do our kickbacks. I'll show you this from the side. Knees are hip width apart, soft, a little flexed from the hips with a straight back, core is tight. What I'm going to do is bring my arms back, and I'm just going to pump my hands back and forth just like that. Breathe. Try to keep your head in line with your spine. Nice straight spine. We're hinging from the hips with this exercise. Don't round your back. Straighten out those elbows all the way. Straight, straight, good. Push it out. We're working the, the bat wings. Flabby arms, this is great for flabby arms. Here we go. Push it out, push it out, back. Good. We've worked most of our major muscle groups. And three, two, one, and we're done. Put the weights down. Let's cool down a little bit. Take a breath in, all the way up, and let it out. Good. Breath in, all the way up. Now drop your left arm and just stretch out your side a little bit. There we go. Stretch it out. Breathe. Good. And back and relax. Roll your shoulders around. Take another breath in, all the way up. Now drop your right arm and stretch out your left side. Oh boy. Excellent job with this program today, guys. You can try this three times a week for a really good strengthening total body workout. And relax, good. Roll your shoulders around. All right, hold your left hand up with a palm up. Touch yourself on the shoulder. Now scoop up your elbow with your other hand. And just stretch it back a little bit. Hold it there. Good. Now cross that arm across your body. Bring it back a little bit and twirl your wrist around just like that. Breathe. Breathe. All right, let's try the other side. Bring your right arm up, palm up, tap yourself on the shoulder, scoop that elbow up, stretch it back. Good. 
Keep your core tight, breathe, and reach across your body. Pull that arm back a little bit. Roll your wrist around, loosen it up. Think of what a good job you guys have done with this exercising today. All right, hands on your hips. Take a breath in. We're gonna look over our left shoulder. Try to keep your hips forward and just rotate your torso, looking over your left shoulder. Stretch it out, breathe. Back to center. Now let's look over our right shoulder. Try to keep your hips forward and just turn that upper body to the right. There we go. Breathe. Back to center. Now we're gonna look up and stretch that back out. Bring your shoulders back. Breathe. And back one more time on each side. Look to the left. Rotate that body. Good. Now we're gonna rotate the other way. Breathe. Back to center. And relax, all right. Stretch out one leg in front of you, right on your heel. So I'm putting my left leg out. And what I'm gonna do is, with my hands on my hip, I'm gonna lean forward with a straight back in the direction of my toes, just like that. And speaking of toes, try to bring your toes back toward your torso to really get a nice full stretch in your calf and in your hamstring. And let's try the other side. Bring your right foot out, put it right on your heel. Flex forward from the hips, nice straight back. Breathe. Awesome workout today, guys, breathe. Bring your toe back toward your torso. You get a nice, good 30 second stretch out of each side. Breathe. And three, two, one. Let's try our quads. Hold onto a wall or your chair or your sink. Grab your ankle if you can. Let your knee relax towards the floor and feel that stretch right in your thigh. Stretching it out, we'll give it a nice 30 second stretch on this quad here. This is a very good 30 minute total body workout for seniors. And we'll try the other side. Hold on to your ankle. Now let that leg relax towards the floor. I personally have tight hips. This is a hard one for me. Let them relax, good. 10 more seconds, here we go. We're relaxing, stretching out the quads in three, two, one. You guys are done. Excellent job with this 30 minute program. I'm gonna head back to my little control chair here. Put my glasses back on and let's see if I can reverse my camera. Hey, I'm back. Let's head over to our comments section. Uh, let's see. Oh, Sandra's here. Good, it sounds good, good. I'm glad, to, I'm glad you can hear me. Excellent, Sandra is a member of Elder Gym Academy and she's having a great time working out there. Margaret, good morning, Margaret. From Ireland, oh my goodness, look at you three girls. That, you guys are strong, that is amazing. And Stephen from the UK, excellent. And Gare's here, good morning, Gare from Holland, and Gare is a member of our academy also over at Elder Gym Academy. And Lynn, you're welcome, Lynn. Yeah, that was a very good total body workout. That was a, a good one. It was good for me, I feel good, I am ready to go. Well, thanks God, guys, for joining us here today. Uh, if you have a chance, stop by and check out um, Elder Gym Academy. We have a lot of fun things to do there. And we have, uh, I have over 600 uh, videos right now that we're doing. Uh, so it's a great little community of seniors. 
Thanks again for joining us, guys. And I will be back this week. I'm trying to do a once a week for the month of August, of uh, October. I'm not sure what I have planned for next week. Maybe we will do a standing core workout. Would you like that? That might be fun. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining us, everybody from around the world. Stay safe. Uh, in this world we have here going on here, it's nice to stay home and exercise. And that's kind of why I'm doing this. So we will see you next week. Bye-bye.